Hi, Tasha Rose here with Radical Mothering. So this is going to be a video about our play spaces and living spaces uh, that we occupy during the day, um, in addition to the classroom. So this is our dining space where um, school flows over onto. And this is our play space. Liliana, get down, please. And this is our living space. Um, so I'll start over here. I have moved our calendar to over here. I'm still kind of working out the kinks of how I want it to be, but as you can see, it's November 7th today. Um, I've still got to work on my peg dolls to change out my weather, my weather blocks. Um, but I do like that system. But this is our calendar table slash nature table um, where we're kind of moving the nature findings. So there's this little bit of art on the wall from um, on the day you were born. So that's that space. And then this is all on top of our hutch. We've got our china and baskets of other things down there. And let's see. I think Zoe ate some candy. It's fine. She's fine. Diggory, please put that away. Um, our dining room, and we've got snack going right now, snack and tea. Um, and this all gets cleared off every day so that we can have our dinner and, and whatnot. But this is where we do a lot of our work, and there's Diggory and Gabriel. And then over here, um, so in our bedroom, or our, our home, we have five bedrooms, and none of them have toys in them. Um, we keep all of the toys out here. The toys belong to everybody. When somebody gets a toy for a birthday or Christmas or whatever, uh, it's theirs exclusively for just a little while, and then, and then you know, we share toys. Um, our little kitchen is over here, and this was a vintage find from a neighborhood thing, and I actually have plans to strip it down to the wood and um, finish it so that it's a little a little happier looking for me. Uh, I probably will take this drawer or this this um, door off and put a little curtain rod thing in there for the um, the covering. But then inside here is where we keep all of our stackers and shape sorters and such like that. Mom, you already showed them that. <clears throat> nope, I'm, I that was a different video that I decided not to use. And then we've got a little cabinet over here that we just use as kind of their, um, a, say hi, as kind of a countertop. I am and amazing! Uh, and then this shelf thing um, did have one, all of those like plastic bins on it and I worked to get rid of them all. <laughs> and I use those actually now in my schoolroom closet to sort um, books seasonally. So in this bin we've got all of our cloth and wood food. This one has like our silks and there's a few circus toys in here too. Uh, the hard plastic kind of animals like the sturdy ones that cost like seven dollars a piece. Um, soft blocks, some baby toys, and then we've just got various little wooden things to play with. These are I don't know, mini Jenga I guess, uh, that get used for a variety of things. Alphabet blocks, which it seems there's some missing out of there. Animal blocks, and then a wooden dominoes set. And then we've got a little poof here. Sometimes I sit on here to read stories. Uh, this thing's like from Ikea or whatever. And then our basket of various blocks. And Liliana is sitting in the dollhouse right now. Then we keep our cars, our big cars parked underneath. And then we've got another basket of cars and trucks and a castle. And then this tree gets changed out in Christmas time for a Christmas tree that they can decorate. And then this this one has leaves that they can put on it for various times of the year. It used to have a bird um, nest too. I'll have to make a new one of those. Um, I did make that, it's pretty easy. You could probably do one too. Um, this thing's plastic, but whatever, it's a, uh, like a mountain cave structure thing that the kids like to use. 
Then this is all for our fairy table slash sometimes is a nature table, but I've switched that out like I said earlier. So this is where they play with fairy houses and then this um, this folds up so that then they've got a little bit more playing surface. Please stop. A little bit more playing surface. And then our window. This is the window where we watch birds. And there's our wolf. We're going to be doing a story for our wolf block this afternoon. And then over here, we keep our babies. And then underneath this table, we keep the big things like um, big heavy metal tractors. But then this is all of our baby stuff. And then the rest of the living room, just some art on the walls, our family values board that we all do together, uh, my laundry, <laughs> um, more art on the walls, our family altar over here and bookshelf, a bookshelf. And then we've got some art over here too. These are really cool. I don't know who has made them. I haven't reverse image searched them or anything, but they've got these really cool calendars at the top. There's another one over here. So they've got these really cool calendars at the top. We've got uh, the birth of Venus, and then our piano windows. And um, yeah, I'd like to put a little bit more art on the walls here, but you know, I don't want to clutter it up too much. And that's about it. That's our, those are our living spaces. Oh, and I forgot our cool rug too. This is from Ikea. And we do have it directionally accurate too. So the butterfly picture. You want to show them the butterfly picture? Uh, no, it's just Leonardo da Vinci, buddy. It's not the Ninja Turtles. And then this painting Zoe did in school and we had it framed so okay that's it say goodbye everybody